everyone. Happy holidays. I am really excited to be sharing another post with you. I have been on quite a journey since I last shared with you. Um, if this is your first time joining me, just know that I've been doing a Candida cleanser. I started it in August and now I'm sharing a little bit that's happened during the holidays. I had a little bit of a setback that I want to share with you guys. So what I've learned about our bodies, uh, most of you know, and I hope you resonate with this, is that we're vibrational beings, okay? And so what that means to me is we've got this larger spirit, this, whether you call it your God essence or your divinity or your true source or whatever it means to you, the Christ in you, and it flows through our body. Our body is just a vessel. And when we're connected, we stay in harmony and there's health that radiates through us. We feel good, we're flowing, we're connected. And if I'm not mistaken, everyone is striving for this. The goal is to feel happy, to feel good inside your body. And that's been my goal my whole entire life. So my understanding now is that when we don't feel good, when we have dis-ease in our body, we've created it because we're contracted or we're stagnated. We're not allowing the flow of our divinity to flow through our body. Okay, so what does this mean with regard to candida? Candida it is, wants to help us in our body, okay? It, it is here to help us digest our food, so it's here to help the flow. What happens when we make unhealthy choices, unaware, unconscious choices, is that we create disharmony. And the candida totally reacts and responds to this. And the other thing I want you to remember is that candida has been here a long, 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 long time. <laughs> like cockroaches. <laughs> they are surviving. They're meant to evolve. Just like we're evolving, they evolve. So I want to be in a good relationship with Candida because Candida is going to be here past me. Remember, the Candida turns into a fungus when you die in order to die, help decompose your body. Yes, there's other things that help decompose your body, but the Candida is the main thing in your body that converts to a fungus when you die, when you have anaerobic activity in your body. Okay, what happens if you stop the flow in your body? You create an anaerobic environment. We do that either by eating foods that do not harmonize in our body or by having thoughts that do not harmonize with our spirit. Okay, and I don't wanna to get too over spiritual even though I love it and it's probably one of my most favorite topics. I'm really here to help you understand about the candida, the candida fungus, the unhealthy form. So a little sharing that I have for you. Uh, the last video I shared that I was doing the parasite cleanse. Well, that did not harmonize with my body. And it set me way back. Also, what I was doing at the time was that it was the holidays and there was lots of yummy treats around me. And I decided to start splurging. And the splurging did not go so well. I kind of overtaxed my body. So between the parasite cleanse, not really feeling good in my body, and then the health or the food choices that I made, 
which was yummy, delicious pumpkin pie and sweet potato pie and cookies. I just didn't have self-control. And because I'm in a healing process, it set me off. I'm sure when my body has returned to like full optimum health and my immune system is stronger than ever, I'm going to be able to enjoy dessert here and there. I just wasn't ready for it. The good part of well, what I learned during this process is there are intense symptoms that happen when the fungus is in your blood. And I got to experience it again. And so I'm having a very keen relationship with this fungus. What happened to me is I started to feel confused I started to get irritable, angry, frustrated. I started having trouble making decisions, not being able to stay focused, and even went into anxiety. And that is not a way to live through life. We're not meant to live through life having those feelings. So if you're having any of those symptoms, and you're overeating with starch and sugar, um, or you're on the pill, or you are just took a round of antibiotics, please know that there is relief for you. And I fully believe in this product so much, I ordered it again. I'm gonna take it again. And um, I don't think I'm gonna need to keep taking it, although it is recommended that we do it about once a year. Because if we don't have the candida fungus, then it just goes through our system and there's no problem. But if we do have the candida fungus, which it can be difficult to um, maintain the homeostasis that I'm talking about, that I desire. I love that there's a product that I can take and in 45 days I'm good to go again. And actually, I started feeling good within the first week that I was taking it. So I just want to speak out to some of the people who have been taking the product and finished the product and didn't have the results they were looking for. I know the makers of this product say you don't have to change your food choices. I kind of disagree with that. I'm seeing a huge connection in the body to food choices. For example, in I think my previous video, I shared with you that I learned that I'm allergic to almonds. Well, guess what? I developed another allergy and it doesn't make any sense other than that. Well, let me tell you what it is. Because there was so much sugar around me during the holidays and I had slipped and, and wasn't feeling good, I decided to return to one of my favorite staples is coconut butter and you can eat coconut butter instead of sugar. It's a great thing. So I was doing that, but what happened is <laughs> I went overboard. And one night there was tons of sweets around me and I was having a little pity party. So I got the uh, coconut butter and I just started eating it and I found it tastes really good with salt and cinnamon. And I ate so much, I probably ate close to half a cup of coconut butter and then went to bed and it wreaked havoc on my system. The next day I was having a massive histamine response as if I had given myself a sinus infection overnight, sneezing, sneezing, sniffling, watery nose. Okay, so what I'm learning is that because we're vibrational beings, things are always changing. Things never stay the same. If you ask someone what reality is, it's just a snapshot of a moment in an ever-changing reality. Okay, this is not the first time this has been said. This is being said over and over and over. So how can you take one diet and think it's going to apply A, to everyone and B for the rest of your life. What I love though about becoming 
in tune and healthy is that I'm becoming so in a healthy relationship with my body where it speaks to me and I hear it and it's immediate and I'm able to respond and in that way I feel like I'm more healthy than before and yes these little slips it was hard for me to get out of that little hole for a while and that's why I didn't really post anything because I was in a bit of a dark place I kind of went down the rabbit hole but I'm posting these videos because I want you to know that's just life we're always learning and we've got to become flexible and learn how to have a great relationship with our body so that's my share I hope you found something that you liked and was helpful. I am in Florida still. The weather is sunny. I'm about to go to the pool. <laughs> and my mom said it was 20 degrees below. She had an ice storm in Texas. So my heart goes out to all of you who are in super, super cold weather. And I love you. And please make your health a priority because it feels so good to feel good and create from that place of being connected with your divine self. I love you.